Yeah, hello guys. And after everything, I've got Raven flutter below 0 0.01. You see 0 0.06575 sometimes gets higher. Pikes 5 gears and 10 gears. This cup stands. I'm not sure how much more I can balance them and do everything better. But I can live with this. That's uh, zero. It's it's not the perfect, not the best one, but it's a very good one, and I'm happy. And a couple things happens really. I after I watched the video, not video. After I uh, reassembled two uh, Teak eighty thirty decks, I have seen that they have pulse motors, not the. Uh, like uh, other Japanese companies like uh, Sony, Pioneer, Technics, uh, GVC, <laughs> even Nakamichi, they have linear, not pulse motors. So they have sinusoidal signal going to the coils to make a smooth rotation. And this deck has pulse motor when it rotates by pulses. Still, I'm still happy, very happy. Yes, yes, sometimes it gets a little bit higher, but all in all, it's good. Uh, so, so I removed it, uh, all my upgrades. I removed the second set of transistors. I put back the original hole sensors. Uh, next was, I can understand this, uh, like, back. And uh, it's when like uh, shaft connects to the uh, stand with uh, remember there was a lots of uh, uh, spacers so that's a uh, needs a proper space where you need to lubricate you need to lubricate between the shaft and the thick steel spacer like it's thick is like uh, maybe three millimeters thick so that's the two parts which holds the most load and when they have a friction and the last part the right pinch roll should be nine millimeter not eight so i put both to eight millimeters and it didn't work well as you've seen so now i'm happy the last issue left uh, is uh, uh, hum noise I will investigate. I believe that this is volume port. Uh, it's some somewhere it gets connected to the ground, and we have a ground loop, and that's it. Uh, start to act like that. So I hope I would be able to complete this deck. Okay. Thank you. See you on my next part.